Welcome to the Paley High School Auditorium. On this video, we'll be discussing monitors and house speakers, how to set up and balance. Thank you to our technician, Dylan. Dylan, what are the A and B monitors? You have two sets of monitors, and you can send two different signals to, diff to two different monitors independently. You have an A and a B, and this will be how to send it from the board. A is going to be mix one, in this mix matrix section, you've got one and two. One is going to be A and two is going to be B. When I select this button twice, it's going to flash and then I'm going to see my faders most likely move. When I am flashing, I am now in mix mode for monitor A at the moment. If I want to change to mix mode for monitor B, I would select two, make sure two is flashing and then now I can send signal to each monitor independently. So if I want to send, right now I have a CD track playing, and if I want to send this CD track to monitor A, I'm going to select one, make sure it's blinking. I'm going to come down to my CD channel, I'm going to turn it on, and make sure that it's engaged. And then now I can bring this fader up, and currently I am only sending my CD signal to monitor A. It's not sending it to my mains. As you can see, when I select this button again, it's gonna go out of flashing, and now I'm in mix mode for the mains. It's gonna be completely independent from the mains, but it will share the fader. So this is how you can tell when I select mix one, which is gonna be monitor A, I'm blinking, and I have signal sent. If I wanna send that same signal to B, then I would select two, Make sure the channel is on, and then bring it up into monitor two. Now I have CD sent to monitor A and B. The last thing you'll need to note about both monitor sections is they have a master fader at the very right. It's this right fader. You wanna make sure it's at zero and make sure it's on. If for some reason the master fader is not on, I will not hear monitor signal. Dylan, what is the difference between main speakers and monitors? And perhaps we can zoom in on them and see them. So the difference in main speakers or monitors are gonna be where the speakers are located. Your main speakers, you have a center cluster up in the center of the stage, up at the very top, you have three white speakers, and then you also have some delay field speakers. When you feed signal to those speakers from the board, you will be in mixing mode for the mains, which will mean that you won't be, you won't be blinking on any of your matrix settings or any of your mix settings. You'll just be solid. And whatever I bring up at this point into the main signal, it's gonna feed the big speakers in the mains. If I were to work on the monitor speakers, the monitors are the, the speakers on the floor that aim at whoever is performing. Those are also called pullback monitors. They are used so that anyone performing on stage can hear different uh, sources that they can't hear off the mains. For instance, if I was performing on stage and I needed to hear a little bit of the CD track, if I'm plugged into monitor A, and I want to hear the CD track so that I can keep in time or anything, I would make sure to go to that and then bring the fader up just for that channel, just to that monitor. Great. Where do we plug in and get the monitors operating? So in order to plug in, you have a couple options, really more than a couple. So as we noted, your mix one and mix two out of the board are feeding mix A and monitor, or monitor A and monitor B. As you can see, on this panel, you have two options for monitor A, and then you have two options to plug into monitor B. These are your speaker jumper cables. And additionally, on the layer below this, these are all your physical connections that you have under the stage and on the side of the stage. 
So if I want to send monitor B and I have my speaker plugged into monitor H, I will need to make sure that I send monitor B to H so that when I send from the board, it can get down to the physical plug I'm using on the stage, which will then feed that monitor. If I wanted to just use one mix and send the same mix to two different monitors, if I use monitor B, I could plug both of those into monitor B. Down at the stage, I could plug my speaker into monitor H and monitor G. And now those two speakers will both have a feed from monitor B. I could do the same thing if I wanted to just send them the same signal from monitor A. These connectors are called quick lock connectors. The way you get them on or off is you slide the notch back and you'll turn it to your left and then pull it out. When you push it in, you push them in, click it to the right until it's clicked and doesn't come in and out and now you have a connection. Terrific. So Dylan, we have set up multiple monitors, we have multiple microphones, and we have finished our rehearsals. We want to come back tomorrow and not have to reset everything all over again. How could we save all of this? So you can save it at the board and scenes. So let's say for instance, our production, we're using monitor A, and we're plugged into the physical plug, monitor G, down at the stage. We're using monitor B, and we're plugged in physically to monitor H for that. So now we'll go over to the board. We'll make sure that we get our signal set. So for this production, let's say that I've got a CD going. I'm gonna use microphone two, wireless microphone two, and say I'm happy with my level here. I've got a little bit of the CD sent to to both monitors. I've got some CD sent to my mains, and I have my vocal channel on, engaged, EQ, and set to a level that I want. Now all I'd have to do, if I wanna come back tomorrow and recall the board exactly the way it is, with my mains selected and my monitor sends and all my EQs all the same, I don't wanna to have to redo a sound check. So all I'll have to do is go to scene memory. I'm gonna use this rotary knob to find myself an available scene. I've got nine open because nothing is written there. I'm gonna tap down with the arrows over to store, select enter. I'm gonna give it a name. So for this one, I'm gonna call it T3 for test three. And then I will tab all the way down to store, select enter, and then confirm that I want to store into the available scene memory onto nine. You have 300 available scenes. And now, if everything gets shut off, when I turn the board on, all I'll have to do is go to scene memory, tab down to my T3, highlight it, select recall and confirm that I would like to recall it. Now all my faders and levels are then going to come exactly the way I had it in my production and I won't have to do any additional sound check. I just have to turn on, load a scene and we're ready to go.